Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I am getting a very, very late start to my Stitch With Me video, but I figured I would go ahead and film it anyways. As you can see, I am stitching on mushrooms, my mushroom sampler. Last night I went ahead and, this is um, Saturday, so Friday night I went ahead and finished all of the stitching on the actual mushroom. So all of the stitching is 100% done on the, the mushrooms. And now I am going to go ahead and get the back stitching done. Here is what it's supposed to look like when it is done. So what I have left to do is do this leaf and all the greenery around the mushroom and the border for the mushroom. So my intention is to try to get this done today, this motif done, and then the mushrooms will go away today. If you have been watching my regular updates, you will have known that if you watched Wednesday's last Wednesday's update, you will know that I had full intentions of attempting to do a week of random project selection using the Tiny Decisions app. I luckily enough on the second the first day it chose 13th colon uh, the 13th colony from by the bay and I was happy because that's exactly what I was working on the day before then the second day it went ahead and chose the mushroom sampler again which is something I've recently been working on and after I was done the second day I started to get a lot of I don't know if anxiety is the word, but I was getting very, I guess it is. I was getting very anxious about the fact of switching to something that I did not necessarily was, I was not ready to work on because I really wanted to go ahead and finish working on this mushroom sampler motif. So that's what I decided to do. Um, you know, I, and that's the great thing about um, intentions or plans is the fact that they can change and so I tried to do exactly what you know that was my my hope and goal and I just was not successful and I kind of in the back of my head knew that that was a possible outcome because I know that is not how I work you know, whenever I set out to do a project, uh, to work on a project, I like to work until I get to a specific point and then stop. Unless I'm really not feeling the project and then I move on to something else for a little bit and then I come back. And that's exactly what I did with the mushroom motif or the mushroom sampler. Uh, you know, I started this last week. And I just did a little bit of this uh, button cap. And then I wasn't really feeling the motivation to work on it. So I moved on to the By the Bay. And when the spinner came up that it was time to work on it, I was actually thrilled to work on it. And now I'm gung-ho to go ahead and finish this motif. And I have some goals that I really want to achieve before the end of the month. And so... And finishing this motif is one of them. Because then it'll be time to switch the, the Q-snap. So I can take it out of the Q-snap and I can put it away for a little bit and focus on some other projects. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and finish working on this motif and then put it away for a while. And I will feel much better about it. So that is my intention. I don't know if you can see very well. And it's going to be hard to see a little bit of what I'm working on today anyways, just because I'm doing backstitch. stitch. 
So I had mentioned the goals that, you know, I want to work on this month to achieve before the, before the end of the month so that I, you know, because next month I have at least one new start because October 1st, Nicole from Buckeye Stitcher and I are going to be starting our Hedgehog Sal. So I will be starting my Riolis Hedgehog Kit. So I have, I want to be ready. I want to be at a good place with most of my projects. I want to feel comfortable with most of my projects to go ahead and have another new start. So my intention is to here. Um, so I have three main goals for this month. <clears throat> The first one is to finish this motif, which I will hopefully have done today. If not today, I will definitely have it done tomorrow. My second goal is to have the By the Bay 13th Colony Part 1 completely done, which should not take too long to finish. Um, I only have that one half of the... Um, the bottom half of the page to do, or of that, um, not page, but pattern to do. And that should really not take that long to, to achieve. And my third plan or goal is to have a, to start and finish a page on Henry. And let me go ahead and I just want to double check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. I was just double checking to make sure that I was in that I had this motif in the correct spot. Okay, we can move on and finish up this. As you can see, I'm putting in the bottom border right here now. So yeah, the, the largest goal for me to achieve this month is that I do want to have a page finish on Henry. And since I haven't started a new page yet, um, that will be the most time consuming and extensive, I believe. Um, but you know, it, once I get sit down and get started on it, I, I really, if, if I feel, if I can get into and get motivated, I don't think it will take me all that long to achieve because I really want to get back into him and get, um, get moving to get him completed. So I definitely have the one new start going or that I will have on October 1st. And I also might have another new start next month that I'm going to leave as a bit of a surprise. I'm still waiting on some fabric to come in the mail. It is taking a bit of a uh, joy ride across New England at the moment. It is coming from XGU Designs in Hungary. And whenever it after it went through customs, somehow it ended on a truck going to Albany, New York, instead of coming to southern New Jersey, which it typically leaves right from New York City and comes right down to the South Jersey Distribution Center. But this time, my fabric went to Albany. And then, from Albany yesterday, it decided to go to Springfield, Massachusetts. So um, I'm not sure what the, the Postal Service is doing this weekend, but um, my fabric is definitely taking its time getting here, which is fine. I'm not in that big of a hurry, just so it does ultimately end up here in um, my hands and not, you know, somewhere else. One thing I'm really thrilled about on this project is that this is 
the third corner I have now rounded. While I only have two sides done, or will, almost done, um, of the motifs, I have the three, three corners completed uh, for the border, which is exciting because that means I'm getting closer and closer to finishing out this outer border of motifs. I think my plan is going to be that I'm going to go ahead and continue moving this way and do, uh, finish out the bottom row of motifs and then I will go ahead and move up and do the the left side of motifs. But you know, next time I sit down I might go ahead and change my mind and start and do the the left side of motifs and then do the bottom the bottom row last. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I am really excited about the fact that this is stitching up fairly quickly. And I love the the level of detail that these mushrooms are are showing. Super thrilled about, you know, I for having to order this kit from Europe. Uh, and I'm so thrilled that I was enabled by Elena and Olivia to, to go ahead and order this kit because this has got to be one of my favorite projects that I'm working on right now just because of the level of detail, the colors, um, and even the linen is starting to grow on me. While I'm not a huge fan of 28 count, um, because, you know, I do like the higher count linens. Um, I, I'm really thrilled about how this is turning out. So today, um, one of the reasons I had a late start getting... Um, going here for my filming is the fact that I hadn't planned on going jogging today and I, I got all dressed up for in my you know my jogging outfit and I went outside and I started jogging and next thing I know it it starts raining on me and I keep trying to you know it just starts to it was just sprinkling some you know a little bit of rain and I was like okay I can I can push through this and I can keep keep jogging and it, it keeps starting to rain harder and harder and I was like nope not gonna do it so I got about a mile into my jog and I'm like I think I am done so I, I did get a mile of a uh, mile in and then I, I came in and I had to get dressed you know get a shower and because I was while I was it was cool and raining I was still sweating um, so I had to go ahead and get cleaned up and but I think the weather is finally starting to break here a little bit. And um, I know a lot of people are saying about how it's feeling like fall in their area. Uh, if, if they're in North America and Europe. But here in the Northeast, I know we have had some, I don't know if it's been record setting, but we have had some amazing, amazingly warm days of, excessive heat to the point where at work we haven't been allowed to send our students out after 10 30 because in the morning because it's been so hot um, we've had to really watch for uh, heat you know heat related illnesses heat stroke heat uh, exhaustion all that kind of stuff um, so it has been quite quite warm here and, you know, I am one that, while I know many of you are super thrilled about fall coming, I am not. While I am looking forward to the cooler temperatures of fall, I am not looking forward to fall. And the reason I'm not looking, there's two reasons I'm not looking forward to fall. 
One is, I don't like what comes after. I don't like what comes after. And I know I, I'm not complaining because I do like the change of seasons because then you have something to look forward to when spring and summer come. I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of winter. I do not like cold weather. I like the heat. But the second reason and the 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 most important reason as to why I am not looking forward to fall is the fact that everything, you know, restaurant and food companies automatically assume that everyone in the world loves the flavor pumpkin. Not everyone likes pumpkin. This guy does not like pumpkin. I can't stand pumpkin. I know I'm going to lose subscribers over that, but it is what it is. Uh, I, 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 I really don't like pumpkin. I never did. I, I, I don't. It's to the point now because there's so much stuff that's flavored pumpkin. I don't like the look of pumpkins. I don't decorate with pumpkins. I don't want to stitch pumpkins. I don't like, I don't know. I just, I don't like pumpkins. So if I am not alone, please let me know in the comments so I can rest assured that I am not alone because I know I'm not alone, but there's, I know there's not many of us that do not like pumpkin. Okay, I need to clean up here a second. So go ahead and stitch along while I am cleaning up here for a moment. I need to change paces, I believe. Okay, what do I need? I need Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and work on the greenery down in here. Yes. Let's go ahead and start with this greenery first. So anyways, um, so last night I was, as many of you know, um, 
I am going to the Midwest Cross Stitchers Retreat in October. So typically, I know last year, I would get a lot of emails from, I'm flying Delta this year, same as last year, uh, because it's nonstop from Philadelphia to, to Minneapolis. So, and uh, usually I get flight updates every so often, letting me know, you know, if things have changed or whatever regarding flight times, uh, stuff like that for my flight. This year, I have not had a, and I purchased my flight ticket back in February. I have not had a single flight update since. So last night, I went ahead online and just checked to make sure everything was still kosher with my flight because I'm like, what's going on? I haven't had any updates. Luckily, I'm, and surprisingly, there has there has been some changes but nothing drastic because I know in the past I have had instances where the airlines would change my, you know, change the times uh, and change my seat and not inform me because, you know, I buy the ticket where I can pick my seat so I can be on the, on the aisle and um, also, uh, you know, be, because the flight that I'm on, it has two seats on one side and three on the other. Well, I'd rather be on the side that has two seats and not three. So I don't have, you know, two other people having to crawl over me to go to the bathroom or, or whatever. I mean, you know, understandingly, it's only a two hour flight. I think it's a two, two and a half hour flight, two hour flight, something like that. But, um, you know, just stuff like that. Uh, and last year, I know they would cha they were changing my seat multiple times, and I would have to constantly go back online and readjust it. But surprisingly, this year they have not done that yet. So that is, you know, knock on wood, that is promising. Um, but I am starting to look forward to going here and seeing all my friends that I've met last year. Uh, and, oh, I should have done that. Okay, let's go in here and switch. Where is that at? To there. Okay. And now we're going to do this. I have a squirrel sitting on my deck chairs staring at me and if it wasn't too complicated to move my camera right now I would move the camera so you could see him but uh, he is hopping all over the deck trying to get my attention so that I can feed him more nuts even though I've already fed him twice today. Did I do the plus? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No more. Eleven.
So I hope you are all doing well. I, I have had many new subscribers in the last few weeks, and I want to welcome you all if you are watching my Sit With Me to my channel. Um, you know, I, I want to thank you all for subscribing and commenting and liking my videos. Uh, if you have um, any interest in additional video content that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm always looking for additional videos that you would like me to to produce, um, especially now that we're getting back into the fall and uh, I'm getting back into a routine of uh, you know the the summer's coming to a close and you know, we always have a little bit more time in the fall and the winter than we do in the summer because we always want to get out in general. People like to get out and do, you know, additional summer things. So uh, I would be more than happy to look into doing some different video content type stuff. So please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm always reading uh, the comments and uh, enjoy interacting with you all. You can also, if you are new to my channel, you can also find me in on Instagram, uh, Ginger Gerald Stitcher, and I, I want to thank you all for the uh, the love and support for for my new design, Stories of the North Part One. You can find that at my Etsy store. It is available both as a digital file as well as a printed pattern that I will gladly mail to you. So please go check that out as along with all of my other patterns available in my store. Um, and if you have any additional ideas that you'd like to throw me, um, you'd like to, uh, I hate to use the word throw me, um, that you would like to, um, you know, something you would like to see as a pattern or, you know, something you haven't seen as a pattern that you think would be a neat pattern, please feel free to message me on, I don't think that's the right place. Hold on. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Please feel free to message me on Instagram or um email me at my email ginger.gerald.stitcher at gmail.com I would be more than happy to to listen to your um, your suggestions and I will take them all into consideration for um, ideas for patterns because I'm always looking for new and creative ideas for additional um, design ideas you know, maybe not necessarily a whole entire pattern, but definitely elements and, you know, and I want to hear from you because you are the ones that are most important and the ones that are buying the pattern. So I want to make sure that you are, you know, that my customers are always happy. So please let, uh, don't hesitate to, uh, to communicate with me and let me know you know, what's going on in your head. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. I'm going to go ahead and finish up these leaves and I will see you next week for my update and stitch with me video. So have a wonderful week and don't forget to always be creative.